It is finally time to get that glow up. And if you want to glow up, you're probably thinking, I should start working out. But you may not know how to motivate yourself to work out, how to actually start working out and implement it into your routine to become your dream self. But I'm here to help you. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best tips that have helped me start working out, where to start, and how to make yourself motivated to work out so you can glow up into your dream self. best friends and welcome back to my sleepover look who's being consistent i know shocker right but today's video is not about me messing up my posting schedule for probably a good few months it's about you and your dream glow up and how you can start working out these are going to be some light life hacks fair advice everything just mixed together in this video of like if you want to start working out this is exactly what i would tell you i'm also gonna say that this video is the second episode in my 30 days to glow up series where we talk about how to glow up every single area of your life and now let's get into the second episode in the 30 days to glow up series how to glow up your body and actually start working out also quick disclaimer i'm not a health professional in any way i'm not a personal trainer so this is not in any way a professional advice okay first things first i know where a lot of people get tripped up with working out and also what was the case for me for the most part is that i thought that working out was so boring i felt like like I really didn't want to go to the gym. I felt like I didn't want to do a bunch of repetitive movements over and over again. And it's so painful. And so just, I don't know. I remember I had a gym membership at some point and it was just not working for me because my thing was that I didn't really like going to the gym. Plus it was hard for me to actually get myself to get out of the house because I'm just a huge homebody. But here's the thing. I went for at home workouts and that worked really well for me as well as playing sports like tennis. And also I fell in love with running because I'm just really project oriented and when I actually failed my first running competition which was like a week after I started I decided to make it my project to get into top 10 which by the way I actually got into top 5 but the thing is there are so many different types of working out you just have to find one that works for you if you don't like going to the gym do at home workouts if you think that some of the at home workouts are boring maybe you like weightlifting more maybe you like running maybe you like dancing dancing sports skateboarding swimming surfing all of those are also workouts so just find what type of workout works for you i remember for me skateboarding was also a huge thing because i loved it and it also counts as a workout because it works out your legs it works out your core because you have to balance but also going along with this one thing that i can tell you guys is that if you're doing at home workouts and if you feel like they can be boring sometimes what you can try is actually music workouts these are workouts that people set to certain popular songs and it's just like follow along Along with me type of workouts and they're so fun to do because you're listening to your favorite songs and also working out at the same time sometimes they're even themed workouts which are really fun here are some that i've watched and i actually love for the most part i usually go for blogilates because her workouts just work so well for me but that might not be the case for you because remember how everyone was obsessed with chloe ting workouts yeah those just didn't do anything for me honestly which there's nothing wrong with the workout itself where there's nothing wrong with chloe obviously but the thing is to each their own find even the types of at-home workouts that work for you music workouts or themed workouts basic workouts and also find the channel that works for you because some channels just don't do anything for me while others show me great results so it's very personal just have fun experiment and personalize it another common misconception is that workouts have to be long which they don't you can do a 10 minute workout a 20 minute workout 30 minute one an hour one anything you feel like like. And if you're not used to working out, you can start small. You can start by working out for 15 minutes every other day. The reason why I'm not saying every day is because I know when you're starting to work out, you might be tempted to just be like, oh, I'm going to work out every single day. And then just you go hard for three days, you get burnt out and you're done. That throws you off track. Even in my fitness class in high school, they told us if you're just starting to work out, pace yourself. Maybe like one day on, one day off. Or you can have two days on, one day off. So you work out for two days you rest for one day you work out for two days you rest for one day you can do the same with like one day working out the other day not working out whatever feels good for you but not from point of i'm lazy but more from a point of 
I know this is the pace that works for my body the best. Another thing that I would tell you if you're just starting to work out is to vary workouts by body parts. That's pretty effective. I'm not really sure about the reason behind it, but I know that almost everyone who works out, that's what they do. So that's what I do as well. I like to have one day focused on my abs, another day focused on the butt, third day focused on legs. That's the three parts that I started with. In the past, I used to also do an arm day, a back day. Sometimes I would do my abs and butt day in the same day because they're pretty close so you can kind of do them together but have different days for different parts of the body that you want to work out and also you need to make sure to give enough time for your body to actually repair itself because the way you build muscle is by making micro tears in your muscles and then giving them the time to recover and build a stronger tissue so you do need to have breaks in order to make sure that that happens as well as sleeping is really important because that's when you do the most of your recovering so get enough sleep drink your water and also make sure to fuel your body in the right way it's also important to start slow you maybe can start with like one day on one day off and then increase it to two days on and one day off and gradually build up your days that you're working out as well as the workout length that you're doing next up one thing that you're probably doing when you're starting to work out you might be tempted to say things like i am trying to work out oh i'm just not really that sporty or something like oh i'm very lazy so so it's hard to work out for me which if you want to work out consistently what you need to do is make it your identity what i mean by this is basically identify yourself as a person who works out as a person who is healthy as a person who takes care of their body don't call yourself lazy don't say i'm trying to work out say i'm someone who regularly works out i'm someone who goes to the gym if it feels weird to you saying that to people around you maybe they know that you're not really the working out type or you've never been working out before and they're gonna be like oh but like how can you say that because you haven't been working out that often just don't say anything say like i've started working out and that's enough but say things to yourself that make it your identity if you're being lazy to work out that day remind yourself that you're someone who works out you're someone who takes care of their body by making it your identity you're more likely to make it stick because on a psychological level people tend to act in a way that aligns with their identity because going against the identity that you have for yourself in your brain creates too much chaos your brain just subconsciously urges to act in line with your identity so whatever you identify yourself as you're mostly going to be consistent with it speaking of psychology hacks one more psychology hack is to make it easily accessible if your gym is an hour drive from your house and you don't have a car you're most likely are going to be way more tempted to skip especially if it's raining if you're going to the gym go somewhere nearby or go somewhere where it's easy to act actually get there. If you're working out at home, have your workout mat somewhere in your line of sight and have it also put there in a way where you can easily just take it, roll it out, don't have a bunch of things laying on it because you're going to use even tiny obstacles as an excuse not to do it. Now moving on to the tips that can actually make you excited and more motivated to work out, which first of all, I'm going to give a quick disclaimer. Motivation is not consistent. You're going to have to more rely on discipline, but at the same time, these tips can really help if you just need that extra kick to get to working out that day. First things first, one thing that you can do is actually to have cute gear, which kind of take this tip with a grain of salt because you don't want to spend a lot of money on your workout gear and then still end up not working out and have that be a waste of money. But you can get cute gear for cheap as well. Just make sure not to go crazy with it. Get like one or two things. Got myself a pastel pink workout mat, which just looks so cute cute so it actually makes me excited to work out another thing is to work out with someone because that's going to make you way more excited to work out and it's going to also make the workout not as hard because i know every single time that i've worked out with someone as opposed to by myself i felt like it was way easier for me next up pull out your pinterest and get some inspo pictures have an inspo picture of your goal or have some workout aesthetic inspiration you can even set that as your screensaver on your phone but just make sure not to go too crazy with like body goals because the goal is for you to be healthy and not to just push yourself to the point where you're not comfortable. Speaking of pictures, another psychology tip that can help you be more motivated or even get to working out easier is actually visualizing it. In the morning, take five minutes to visualize your day playing out the way that you need it to be and add you working out in there. So just like visualize yourself getting out of bed, getting cute breakfast, journaling, and then getting your mat, rolling it out, working out, feeling 
feel how excited and just fulfilled you feel right after your workout. Visualize you looking at your body in the mirror, feel yourself getting stronger, more beautiful, and in other actions of your day as well. But actually, based on psychology, visualizing something can help you with doing that thing because you're mentally rehearsing it in your brain. Based on the studies that have been done, doesn't know the difference of you visualizing something or actually doing it. There was a study with piano players, I think, where some of the players visualized practicing piano while other players actually practiced it and there was no significant difference between the groups and their progress. Next up, one thing that I just really really love and honestly have put into work so well myself is to make yourself a workout playlist. Sit down, look through the songs, pick every single one of them. It's going to make you so excited to work out. And how you can take this even further is to have a playlist full of songs that you don't listen to unless you're working out. For example, I have a playlist of these like 2010-ish kind of like or early 2000s nostalgic songs that I just love listening to. Some One Direction in there, Selena Gomez, Britney Spears, but I usually don't listen to those types of songs so I gave myself an excuse to listen to them when I'm working out and me just knowing that that's the only time that I get to listen to those songs which boosts my serotonin <laughs> so much actually makes me excited and want to work out. After working out, one thing that you can do is to reward yourself in a small way which is going to act kind of as like an operational conditioning which is a thing in psychology basically where you reinforce the behavior by rewarding it or punishing it so you can reinforce you working out by giving yourself a reward in some way after you can get yourself a smoothie if you like smoothies or make yourself a smoothie figure it out make it something that's not really hard but something that makes you so excited and something that you would look forward to getting and i know we've talked about a lot of workout tips but you might be like tell me how else i can glow up my body which working out is only a part of the equation another part comes with you eating healthier which the biggest tip that i can give you guys with that is to not cut anything out but slowly replace some of your snacks with healthier alternatives if you're eating a lot of gummy bears you can replace that with actual fruit bites because gummy bears have fruit flavor anyways so having fruits can kind of level it out and it's also a really nice snack if you guys want to i can make a whole video of tips on how to glow up your body from the food perspective and actually some more hacks on that that are not workout related so if you guys would want that then let me know in the comments and if you guys want to watch the previous episode in the globe series which was all about the globe hacks that i used that you probably Probably haven't heard of then go to this one right here and if you guys want to hear how to make yourself a glow up plan then go to this video right here because I give you guys an exercise that can clearly tell you the areas that you want to work on and also tell you guys how to start doing it but thank you guys so much for watching I love you so 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 much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye